Hey everybody, welcome to the Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe with the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much. Let's get started. Which domino will fall first? Will the Buffalo Sabres trade Taylor Hall first? Or will the New Jersey Devils trade Kyle Palmieri first? Very interesting because I think these GMs are waiting for each other to make a move to see what return they will get before they, they make the trade of themselves. So um, you're hearing that talk going around a bit. Um... A lot of NHL analysts are saying this year a lot of teams may be more reluctant to hold on to their first-round picks. And I know these two teams want a first-round pick with additional stuff in return for their uh, top six talent. So um, it's going to be a very interesting situation this year as we enter the April 12th trade deadline. I think you're going to see the Devils and the Sabres waiting to the last hour. I don't think it's going to happen soon. I know a lot of people, a lot of NHL fans, were waiting, uh, you know, myself included. I'm, I'm searching... Uh, my phone every two seconds to try to see if a trade went down, but um, you know, that happens every time this year. But when it involves your team, you're searching more and more. But um, you know, I think they're gonna be more reluctant to hold on to uh, wait a bit longer to see if any other teams enter the conversation and try to outbid the other teams. So I do think the Devils and the Sabres will get good packages for um, Palmieri and Taylor Hall. Just have to wait to see what happens. So I want to talk about that a bit in this video. And um, with the Kyle Palmieri situation, I know I recently did a video on this, but I didn't talk about any trade packages. Two trade packages came out today, and um, you know they're, they're rumors. It's nothing that's set in stone, but they were very interesting, and I felt I wanted to do a video on it to discuss it in case you guys and girls haven't checked it out. So I'll talk about Taylor Hall first, then I'll go to Kyle Palmieri situation. So the Buffalo Sabres uh, forward Taylor Hall was held out of the lineup for precautionary reasons. He will be a healthy scratch for the purpose of keeping him healthy during trade negotiations. And honestly, that's the smart thing for GMs to do nowadays, especially we're days away from the trade deadline. You don't want to risk your player getting injured and possibly blowing a trade and not getting any assets and having these players walk uh, in the offseason for nothing. So they're playing it very smart. Keep doing that because you don't want to risk them getting hurt or anything like that. So Taylor Hall, you're hearing a couple of teams being rumored with him. I'm sure that list will grow as we near the April 12th trade deadline. But these are the teams that I kept hearing being involved with Taylor Hall. Um, Toronto Maple Leafs. And I know a lot of Toronto Maple Leaf fans are going to say, well, we don't have the cap space. Um, but it's going to be an interesting situation this year. Um, NHL analysts are saying that this year may be a bit um, different in regards to trades where you may see a lot of teams that have cap space are going to try to take advantage of that. They're going to try to jump into trades to help the two teams out. But I mean help to get assets go their way as well. They're going to want picks and prospects as well being linked to that trade and helping those two teams, um, you know, get rid of some cap space and, um, you know, be able to make that trade. So definitely see that happening with Toronto being one of those three teams involved in a trade if that happens. Um, the Colorado Avalanche. Joe Sackick has done a masterful job with this team. He's got a deep, deep team. And to add Taylor Hall to this team would be scary. And um, definitely make them a top contender for the Stanley Cup. Um, I remember when we were trying to trade Taylor Hall, um, I was happy about hearing Colorado because they got a lot of good prospects. They had a lot of good picks at the time. And, um, you know, if the Buffalo Sabres are smart, definitely try to take advantage of that and try to get as much as you can for that. But, um, you know, Taylor Hall, if you can add Taylor Hall to the Colorado Avalanche, would that be scary seeing him play with McKinnon, Landeskog, all these guys that are on that team, Randon, you know, Saad? It's it's going to be scary to see that lineup be, play with Taylor Hall. So um, we'll see what happens with that. The Edmonton Oilers, they're talking about bringing back Taylor Hall to either play with McDavid or Dreisaitl. They're constantly looking for wingers. So can you see Hall reunited playing in, um, playing in Edmonton again? We'll have to wait and see with that as well. The Islanders are in the talks for this. Um... The Carolina Hurricanes have a wealth of prospects that they could throw Buffalo Sabres way uh, to try to get them to bolster their lineup. Uh, the Boston Bruins, uh, you're hearing that they want to add um, a winger to really help with their with their team's situation right now. Maybe push some players down to the third line and bring in a, t uh, a second line talent to really take that stress off that first line, being that constant engine for this team. So. Um, Boston is going to make a big move. I really know. I really have a feeling they're going to make a big move entering this trade deadline. Um, we'll have to wait and see. But you're hearing Palmieri or you're hearing Hall to that team. So definitely circle the Boston Bruins to make a big trade um, this trade deadline. And the Blues you're hearing too being linked to Taylor Hall. So um, 
I'm, I'm interested to see what Buffalo's going to get for him. I think they're going to get a good package. You know, you're hearing a lot of NHL fans doubting what the package will, what the return will be for Taylor Hall, but I believe it would be a good one. Would it be as good as what the Devils got? I don't think so, but um, it'll be something good to help them out for their future. So, um, you know, going over to the Kyle Palmieri situation, um, Dave Pagnota of the fourth period was on TSN 690. He said that the Bruins and the Devils have had back and forth talks on Palmieri and Kulikov. Toronto, Colorado, and Florida are all also interested in Palmieri. So a lot of teams want to get Palmieri. So um, very interested to see. You know, I'm, I'm happy to see that um, some of these teams I'm interested in because I, I like the way their prospect pools are, especially Colorado. Um, but, you know, when you're hearing the Bruins being involved with the Devils, you keep hearing this DeBrusque and a pick for um, Palmieri. So throwing in Kulikov with this deal, is it going to be another late-round pick? Um, in addition to that, is it going to be another prospect? I know the Bruins were trying were trying to trade off defensive prospect uh, Erho Vekanainen, so can he be involved in this deal? We'll have to wait and see, but it's kind of going to be a structure of that. Um, I liked DeBrusque when he first came into the league. I know he has had some, um, you know, injuries and has really, really derailed him the past couple of, um, couple of years where he hasn't lived up to what he has, um, that really good year he had. So, um, he's still a young player. He could turn around and I think he could be good with the devil's organization. So, um, he'd be interesting in this, uh, the first round pick, uh, Boston has all their picks for the next three years. So they do have the luxury of trading out picks. And um, Vekanainen is a really good defensive prospect. So definitely those could be parameters of a trade or could go a different way. But just curious to see what the Devils would get if um, they do work with um, the Bruins with a trade. And now looking over to the Islanders. The Islanders as well have all their picks uh, the next three years. Um, in 2022, they have an additional second round pick. So um, could the Devils be one of those teams where... Um, they try to take advantage of their cap structure. You know, they have a lot of cap space. Can they use it to take on a bad contract to get another pick? So very interesting to see if the Devils do that to get one of those picks or to get one of their prospects or something like that. More involved with the trade if they go that route with Palmieri to the Islanders. So I heard a trade. Um, it's not a trusted source, so I just thought it was an interesting trade. Uh, Palmieri with 50% salary retained. For a first-round pick from the Islanders, Kiefer Bellows, Komarov, and a possible prospect. Now, I don't think the possible prospect would be thrown in as well. I think it could be just the first Bellows and Komarov. Um, I know the Islanders don't have a lot of cash space, so I, that's where I think the Komarov and the Palmieri with half a salary retained makes a lot of sense. Uh, Komarov has two years left at $3 million, and Palmieri at 50% salary retained would be in favor of the Islanders where they would have less going back their way, but they would still get some out to bring in. So um, the Islanders make a lot of sense. I really like Kiefer Bellows. You know, entering the, his draft year, I was hoping the Devils would try to get him. I like the player he is. I liked his. I, I grew up watching his dad. I love the way that uh, uh, Brian Bellows played the game. Um, and, you know, Kiefer Bellows, if he's anywhere near what he can do, what his dad did, I would love that. So... I think he's going to be a player that's definitely going to be on the rise. You know, he's been a thorn in our side this year, really killing the Devils whenever we played them. But um, I can definitely see the Islanders and the Devils working on a trade. Could it be possibly like like the trade said, where first Bellows and Komarov for Palmieri and half his salary retained? Have to wait and see, but it does sound pretty interesting. So comment below what you think about these trade proposals. Where do you think Taylor Hall is going to land? Where do you think Cal Palmieri is going to land? Comment below and let me know. And as always, thank you all for watching. I really appreciate your time. Smash that like button. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. Join our hockey team. Thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great night. Take it easy. Stay safe.